Okay, as you can see right here, I've decided to, as the old saying goes, you know, if you try to make chicken salad out of uh, chicken poo, I guess. So this is still going to have a moan on it, even though it's going to come down to the edge. And if I have to, I may have to re reheat treat it, which if I do, that'd be all right too. Uh, I don't think it's broke anywhere else. I'll just cut it down. I need to measure it and make sure what size it is and get it square out through there. Either that or it won't fit, fit in a Kydex case good. So, But I'll have to change the angle on it from the uh, 410 to probably the 620 or something like that. 615, 620. But I can still salvage a knife out of this one. So that's not a total loss. Thank the good Lord for that. Now, this one I don't know about. I honestly don't. Uh, just depends on how far up it goes. Anyway, let me uh, let me do this with just rough on my hand, just rough handed. See what I can come out with with the, on this forty grit belt.
Boy, it's loud. I think I can make a knife out of this one. It'll be funny looking, but I think I can salvage some of it. Make a little neck knife, a little neck gutter or something. And, uh, and uh, reprofile it. But I've got to ground all the cracks out of it. So, yeah, I'll make something out of it. Well, that ain't a total loss, then, is it? I don't know about this one. I believe this one will be okay to do. Like I put this one in oil to start with. I hope so, anyway. And this one. See how far the cracks go. And chase it down.
Well, I'll wipe that off in a little bit and drop it in the ferric chloride and see if there's any more cracks in it. I can make something out of it. If it ain't exact, if it's nothing more than an example of what not to do, then I've learned. Hopefully everybody else will learn. You can kind of make something out of your mistakes or your mishappenings, except for this. Yes, it got too hard. Uh, this is soft right here, but it broke behind it. Got it too, got this, the handle area too hard, which would have been all right. Gonna come out of the, the temper, but uh, I don't know if it cracked in the water or, or if I dropped, just me dropping it cracked it, but anyway. But as you can tell, I don't know if you can or not. I'll hold that up our focus, 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 focus. This right here is the grain structure on this knife. You talk about tiny, tiny, tiny little grains in there. Yep. It's like a 800 grit sandpaper. Now if it looked like a 60 grit, I'd say it was done. The, it wasn't done right, but this was done. It done all the. It, it converted real good. No, it was cracked. It was cracked. And when I dropped it, it just come on apart. Okay, it had a little crack in. It. Yep, right there. And the blade. That's how far up it chipped in or split in that. And it's got splits all over it, just like the rest of them. But you know. At least I could salvage, I might, no, I won't be able to salvage this one, it's just too, too far gone. Tip come off. Well, the big T crack right there, and another crack right in there, and there, and there. It's cracked all the pieces. Yep, see? You can see, hopefully, hopefully the camera will show it. it won't, I'm, I'll describe it a little bit, try to. Where the crack is, where the crack was, and where I've run it across through there, then quenched it in water to, to cool it. Well, everywhere that it was cracked is wet. It's got a different look to it. Everywhere is just because it was broken and it took this piece with it. I broke it out with, with this. Is really clear. I mean, it's this is a dark gray where it's wet, and a light gray where the, else is and it's got this grain structure I mean just like beach sand a little bit of stuff and time I get it uh, the knives that'll hold uh, that didn't crack run through the uh, the temper or actually what I'll do is I'll put them in the uh, I'll put them in the dry ice overnight I'll have to go get some tomorrow it's later in the day than I thought. So anyway, this this video's went long enough. I should be able to make it about four or five of them out of it, hopefully. And unless you just want to watch me stumble around for 45 minutes to an hour, whatever, however long these are. But uh, anyway, that's what happens when when you. Uh, I tried it once before, and I, and I seemed to have dodged a bullet and got away with it before. That's the reason I went ahead and tried it. But I ain't going to do that no more. Water's not for me. It'll all be oil. So, and yes, they all skate a file. Oops. They all skate a file real good. And everything. Yeah. That's it. Here, where it's softer, hear the difference. This 
the spine up here soft and the edge is hard this will make a dandy knife for somebody dandy when I get done with it so anyway thanks for watching and uh, if you like it and if you like these videos please you know feel free to comment that's what these are for I don't know everything and everything that I learn I try to teach and show by example here of what to do and what not to do hopefully so if anybody tells you that you need to go in water with uh, with the 10 series steel uh, well you can see what I done with it it's not not for knives uh -uh. I won't do it again now the the tongs is a different thing but anyway be sure like I said be sure and like share to all your friends are subscribe you know, subscribe if you've not you know and hit the bell for notifications and don't forget the giveaways I've got a scribing block scribe tool for to get the center of the, of the blade for when I get to 50 subscribers and the next one I'll give away a knife at 200 I will start considering it at 150 unless you know if let's say go pretty quick after that if I get up to 200 yes I'll give away a knife so anyway thanks for watching uh, sorry apologize for this being so long and everything and but hopefully I'll split it up into three or four well till next time this is Bobby Shields from Dog Bone Knife saying God bless <laughs>